You are now tuned in to Full Style. Hello, stylers. Welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video. We're jumping right in with today's video. And this is our first ever Halloween costume of 2020. So excited. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made all the cute, fun, and vintage creepy accessories for our cracked porcelain doll. Her name is Maybelle. Jumping right in, I am using some white lace ribbon trim and I'm going to be creating some cute little bows to use as a necktie and a headband and even some hair accessories. So I'm just going right in. I'm not measuring anything. I'm being really random and carefree with my measurements. I know I want um, it to be a certain size. I am creating two pieces to be our necktie piece and one is going to be slightly smaller than the other one to add a little depth and dimension. I'm going to be using some white satin ribbon to secure and pinch together those middle parts and securing it all with hot glue. This is a very easy minimum sewing um diy you don't even have to use an actual sewing machine you can use fabric glue um or you can hand sew i'm also going to be taking some additional um of that ribbon and i'm going to be creating some cute little tails for our ribbon bows and i'm going to be securing the tips of those with some hot glue um tapering the ends of it so it looks a little bit more clean and dainty i'm absolutely loving this the best part about this costume is that it is little to no sewing the actual garments that i will be wearing are all things i had in my closet i will get to that later i'm going to go back to that white satin ribbon i'm going to measure my neck and multiply that times two to create a ribbon that I could be able to tie around to tie around my neck and then tie into a bow at the back. I'm going to trim away those ribbon ends and I'm going to take a lighter to um, secure the ends so they don't fray and run. Taking a little bit of hot glue, finding the middle of that ribbon and I'm going to secure down my bows and just making sure everything lay flat and looks um, quite neat and um, clean. Because once upon a time, this was a beautiful, pristine, vintage doll. So she, at one point in time, looked like she had all her stuff together. I'm gonna take this white lace material that I had from years past to create a top out of that I only I wore once and then wore again because I didn't like the fit. I'm gonna be taking this white roughly edge of the fabric and I'm gonna be using that on something later. And then I'm gonna take a huge piece out of the middle of the fabric, folding it in half, cleaning off the ends, um, and I'm gonna be using that to create the bow that will be our headpiece. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine i'm going to do a simple stay stitch down the length of this um material to create a tubing that to create my bow just so it has clean finish again you do not have to use a sewing machine i'm not using any measurements you can use fabric glue and you can hand sew this or you can have a ribbon that is thick and wide enough so that you don't have to to sew anything I'm gonna turn this right side out, bringing the edges towards the middle, securing that with hot glue, and I'm going to pinch together the middle parts to create our bow. I'm gonna take some more additional of that white lace fabric and I am going to pinch in the middle and I am going to wrap that um, strip of fabric around the middle to secure the, the pinch part to finish off and give a clean look to our bow. You can see me going back and forth and playing around and fluffing up the bow. I really wasn't happy with how it was looking. It looked kind of flat um, and kind of lifeless. And I 
I was um, worried how it was going to look. But before I get into that, I'm going to take a little bit more of that white satin ribbon and I am going to glue that inside of a plastic headband that you get from the dollar store. I just happen to have a lot of them. Um, I'm going to secure and glue down the satin ribbon inside of the bow. This will help protect my hair and my edges from rubbing, rubbing up against the plastic headband. So once I have took in my head form and I set the headband on there, I really was not happy with how the bow was looking. It looked as flat. I wanted to give it some, some depth and some dimension. I wanted it to be like a fat, very pristine, childish, feminine bow. So I'm going to literally take some foam. I'm going to cut that down to size. Um, you can see me here literally thinking. Uh, I'm going to cut that down to the size and shapes that I need cover that with some more scrap fabric from that white um, lace material um, and I'm just going to insert that inside the curls of the bow to give it some dimension so that it like fluff up um, the reason why I'm covering this uh, foam with some white lace material because I don't want it to be too noticeable but once we are all done with this bow and we're going to add a little bit more details to it. You would not notice the foam at all. And if anybody noticed the foam that's in your bow, they are too close to you. Tell them to back up. We in, we in COVID season. So securing that to the top of my headband, I am loving how it looks so much better. You could barely even notice the foam. And I promise you, once we're done with everything, no one will be able to notice that you have foam inside of your bow. You can always use like tissue paper. You can use some white tool, roll that around on itself. Um, it's all up to you. Foam was what I had on hand. So I'm going to take a, another strip of that white lace material, cut it in half, because I'm going to use that to make the little tails for my bow that will sit on my head and frame my face. Um, after a while, I came back to the bow and I was like, you know what? She needs something else. She needs a little bit something else. So I have a wider width of some white satin ribbon and I am going to cut that down to size, bring the ends in on themselves, pinch the middle and take some more white um, ribbon and wrap it around the middle to secure it and give it a nice clean look. And I'm going to add that to our hair bow to give her that double just girly feminine bow. Now, because this is a craft porcelain doll, she's quite vintage. And the white of the lace and the ribbon was just too stark. It was just too new on this doll. So I wanted to age her up a bit. So I'm going to just take an eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take a light brown and like an off-white or a cream color and a eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to dust that around the edges and just dirty up this material a little bit. Now, you can always pre-stain your material your lace your ribbon by just giving it a tea bath um just how you would if you was tie dyeing something or you were aging something you can just boil some tea sit this uh, material in that water that tea bath for a few minutes rinse it out let it dry and then you have some aged fabric of course i did this after the fact so i didn't want to dip the whole entire Thing. So I did this with the headband, I did this with the necktie, and I also did these with these cute little ribbons I made that I secured to some um, hair ties to put on my braids for later. And you can see I added a little bit of embellishment to my bows for the neck piece and the hair ties.
And there you have it, guys. The costume of this look is pretty simple. It's two dresses that I already had in my closet for some years. The first one, the gingham black and white dress was gifted to me. The second one, which is like a tank um, full skirt dress, is from Torrid. And this acts like, as if like a pedicure or apron over the doll dress. You can always add a petticoat underneath it to so give it a little bit more flair. If you're interested in seeing how I created the makeup, for this costume, head on over to my Instagram channel at Nadia underscore the creator. And with that being said, I'm so very excited. I hope you guys love it. She's creepy, she's macabre, and she's also adorable. Um, beware, Maybell may be coming for you. With that being said, I love you guys. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. And always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.